But first, a historic day at Waitangi. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern became the first female Prime Minister to be allowed to speak on the Upper Marae. And she's promised to come back in future years and be held to account. During the visit, which has been hailed as a roaring success, Miss Ardern has been gifted taonga, offered yet more baby names, and even been asked for something that would tie her to Ngāpuhi forever. Te Manu Kōrehi reporter Shannon Honui Thompson is in Waitangi. Kia ora, Shannon. What did, Tēnā koe, Rowan. What did Penny Henare say during his speech today? Oh yes, well today Penny Henare said Ngāpuhi shouldn't be suggesting baby names, instead they should be asking for the baby's pito whenua or placenta to be buried here in Ngāpuhi, which would connect Jacinda Ardern and her baby to Ngāpuhi forever. Um, this is a practice that many Māori follow, burying their baby's placenta where they're from or to their whenua to have that connection. Well one thing's for certain, during Jacinda Ardern's time, she has certainly made a great impression here in, during her extended stay here in Waitangi. A new Prime Minister and a new venue for her official welcome to Waitangi. Nearly 100 warriors welcomed the government and opposition MPs to the Upper Marae on the treaty grounds this morning. But some things stayed the same. Kuia Titefai Harawera in a wheelchair held Jacinda Ardern's hand as she escorted her onto Te Whare Runanga. <laughs> it's not the first official government pōwhiri to be held at Te Whare Runanga, but it is the first time a female Prime Minister has spoken during the Mahi Mahi and Jacinda Ardern knew how significant that was. I do not take lightly the privilege extended to me to speak from this veranda today, not only as Prime Minister, but as a wahine. In his speech replying to the welcome mihi, Labour MP Pini Hinare responded to all the suggested names for Ms Ardern's baby. Mr Hinare said Ngāpuhi shouldn't be gifting names for the baby, but asking for the baby's pito whenua, or placenta, so it'll be connected to Ngāpuhi forever. Ms Ardern said it was something she would need to discuss with her partner Clark Gayford who accompanied her to Waitangi. But the fact that even the suggestion was made and that um, uh, there were in particular Kuia alongside me um, who really acknowledged that, uh, that felt like a significant gesture, uh, a really symbolic one, um, which meant a lot to me. The Prime Minister has enjoyed a warm reception during her five-day stay in Northland and today was no different. Better housing, employment and lifting tamariki out of poverty were amongst the issues discussed and those who came to listen to her agreed more needed to be done, especially for Māori. I think she's with um, about all our tamariki and poverty and all education and stuff. Yeah. She's done really well, especially being Ngāpuhi. And she's also very aware of the fact that many words have been spoken, many promises have been made on this marae and all around the country in Wellington. And the danger of that, and I think thought the most powerful thing, was that she said, hold us to account. After the porphyry, the Prime Minister visited a local school in Paihia. Well, thanks, Shannon. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that general reaction to the Prime Minister's speech? I think most people were really happy with what she said and, you know, um, really were uh, agreed with the sentiment of the speech. However, you know, she's talking about a lot of change that's needed here, especially in the north, and I think they really want to see that change. So. When she comes back next year, you know, I think she may not get a, a such a warm reception if they don't see that change. And what's happening there tomorrow? Well, it's an early start for the Prime Minister tomorrow with a dawn service at 5am. And after that, she's holding a, uh, her and her ministers will be cooking a public uh, barbecue breakfast. And also here in Waitangi, there'll be lots of... Um, 
bands playing, kabahaka groups performing and lots of yummy kai stalls which I can see have already started setting up to, for tomorrow. Thanks very much Shannon, that's uh, Te Manu Korehi editor Shannon Honui-Thompson speaking to us there from Waitangi.